Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. The incredible power of Kakarot in his primal transformation was incredible. It seemed as if he, even a king at all, was in front of it. Bayakuya at the moment would stand in front of Kakarot showing his true appearance, which was that of a tall, blonde, and very muscular warrior which only with his presence was able to make any warrior bend. But this did not happen with Kakarot. For a simple Saiyan who has not yet reached his full development, you have a power even greater than Yamoshi's. Heh <laughs> I've had good teachers, and I've never given up, and this will not be the exception. I plan to end your legacy. <laughs> and my legacy. That's impossible, because if you're lucky enough to defeat me, there are many more warriors who wish to end Yamoshi's offspring. I want to see if they can do it, so it's time to start fighting! Kakara would be the first to launch the attack, which would be reciprocated by Bayakuya, who at that moment began to exchange hundreds of blows. However, Kakara would realize how Beerus and Whis were not able to withstand all that incredible battle. So at the moment, he would be able to grant a powerful blow to Bayakuya, moving quickly towards the deities, but Bayakuya, with his great perception, was able to take Kakarot's legs, throwing him to the other extreme. Damn! Will not allow my teacher to die in this place! Cell Division! Kakarot Evil God! From the primal Kakarot's body, the Kakarot with pure negative energy was detached, which had red hair while Kakarot and Bayakuya faced each other. The negative Kakarot would quickly approach the other deities. I'll send you to the kingdom of the all. Don't worry about me. I'll end this battle. I have the power beyond a god. Both deities would be sent to the kingdom of the whole at an incredible speed. But at this time, Kakara had received several gravity blows because by using cell division, his power was divided into two, which was not recommended if his opponent was more powerful. At the moment, both warriors would quickly form a single warrior again. Kakarot would be able to cover himself with a large sphere of energy, which, if it reached him, would be able to cause great damage. That attack was dangerous. I have to fight seriously because that bastard's trying to end my life. Today, only one of the two will be able to get out of this universe alive, and I think it'll be me. Bayakuya, with an even greater speed, was able to grant a great blow to Kakarot's stomach, which, at the moment, large amounts of blood would come out of his mouth. Damn worm, you think I'm lacking the hands to hit you back! Kakra, with much higher power, was able to pass through Bayakuya, which would feel like his life was taken away, due to the great damage he had received. Damn, I never thought I'd have to wear this with you. Heavenly armor! Divine protection! Bayakuya's entire body would be protected by an incredible golden armor, which at the moment of Kakarot hitting a blow would not be able to cause any scratches. Kakarot would use all his power and grant several blows on all of Bayakuya's armor, having no result. On the contrary, his fists were bloodied. Damn, my fists hurt when I hit him. What the hell is that armor made of? Ha ha ha. No matter what you do, this armor will be able to repel all your blows, since you don't have the necessary power to destroy it. As far as I could tell, when I hit it, all the impact was distributed. But what would happen if I hit it at the same point? Kakarot would begin to attack at the same point, which at the moment the armor would be cracked a little. Bayakuya, realizing this would be surprised, and without trusting himself, would begin to defend in the same way. Meanwhile, in the kingdom of the whole, Beerus and Wiss had arrived. Wiss and Beerus, what had happened? There's no call from the gods, so if they are in this place, it's due to something very important. Daishenkin-sama, Bayakuya would appear in our universe, but we weren't able to inform him since he seals the whole universe. If I seal the entire universe, how the hell were they able to escape from that place? Kakarot, a Saiyan whom I trained since birth, gave us the perfect break for us to escape. Listen well, did you say a Saiyan stayed fighting against Bayakuya? So his father. From what I could observe and listen, he was able to access a transformation called the Primal Saiyan. 
Daishaken at the moment would be filled with an incredible terror, while his whole body began to tremble at the knowledge of the name of the transformation. Father, what's the matter with you? Did I say something wrong? Millions of years ago, I, the great priest, was completely humiliated before Yamoshi, and his transformation called Legendary Saiyan Primal. The power that Yamoshi possessed in that transformation had no limit. I never had a chance against him, but despite that, he reduced his power to have an even battle with me. So I can't believe what you're telling me. I was able to hear that Kakarot's the offspring of Yamoshi. In that case, that Saiyan named Kakarot is the key to end this whole battle, because if his power is as great as Yamoshi's, he can put them at bay. Returning to the battlefield, Kakarot's power would begin to decrease drastically, because his entire body and eternal energy was not used to the power beyond a god, much less the power of the same primal, which Bayakuya would not hesitate. While Kakarot was massacred by Bayakuya, in his mind, he was able to observe Yamoshi. Kakarot, you have the potential to even surpass me, but it's not the time, since you're still very young and sometimes we have to know when we should retire. Kakarot, while being beaten, would communicate with Yamoshi, no, Yamoshi! I don't want to let this damn war make fun of me. Kakarot, in case you win this battle, you will be stalked by a much more powerful being. I trust you, and I know that you will make the right decision. Bayakuya, you're an incredibly, extremely powerful being, but I'm not afraid that I'm not at maximum capacity right now, so we'll have to postpone our battle. Cursed mortal. Now that you know that you're the offspring of Yamoshi, don't even think that I'll leave you alive. I intend to end you this very instant. Bayakuya, with a magnificent speed, was about to hold Kakarot by the face, but Kakarot, with the three-dimensional technique, was able to be enveloped in a capsule of his own energy, with which he was able to reach the Kingdom of the Whole, realizing because at the moment of arrival, an incredible crater would be created, and Kakarot would be observed with terrible wounds. But the most affected were the energy veins, which seemed to explode. Seriously, this mortal has the necessary power to save us, because if we were Yamoshi's offspring, we wouldn't have a chance. My little Kakarot, I'll heal all your wounds together with my father. Instantly, Xenosama, along with his guardians, would leave the palace because they heard such a rumble, Xenosama would be a little surprised to notice a mortal. Dai, tell me what's going on! What was the big tremor you felt a few minutes ago? My lord, the tremor that was felt a moment ago was the Saiyan, which with its great power was able to reach our planet. Xenosama, understanding absolutely nothing but at that moment, in all the universes an opposing warrior would present, but it was only his aura and essence. After so many millions of years, the last offspring of Yamoshi has appeared. We think to end the whole divine world, but in case they gave us that mortal, we'll do absolutely nothing. The essence would disappear from the twelve universes, but all the planets began to tremble due to the power, while Xenosama's gaze would change to a much more serious. That guy was Megun, the dimensional king of infinity. This is impossible, Xenosama. Megun would never go down to these universes, since the level of power is too poor compared to his universe omnipresent level. It's said that the legendary Yamoshi was able to be born as the weakest mortal, but was also able to access the highest divine territory. So that is why they want all their offspring to perish. King of all Xenosama, we cannot accept, since if Yamoshi's offspring dies, all of us will be his slaves. Wiss is right. No matter what we do, we will protect Kakarot, even with our lives so that he will be able to reach his maximum power. Meanwhile, the entire internal system of Kakarot was in a terrible state. Despite being healed by the Great Priest, this was not enough to recover the incredible damage of the Primal Super Saiyan. Apparently, you'll have the joy of feeling the power of the most powerful god that has ever existed. The essence of the Priest will not be enough. The essence of Yamoshi inside would release a little of his power, with which he was able to completely stabilize all his internal energy. That's right, the entire Kakarot system would begin to regenerate at an incredible speed, with a much higher power. Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, by Akuya, he was very badly injured, since Kakarot's blows had likewise been an overwhelming. Hell, I don't know how I was able to stay at his level, but now I'm not able to move anymore. Damn, I'll die in this place. But at that moment, a large portal would be created all over the place, from which a crimson-haired warrior, a bit similar to Bayakuya, would emerge. 
Well, well, brother. Apparently, you've been beaten up. Brother, please help me. I'm not able to move. I can't do anything. Of course, if brother, don't worry. Right this very instant, you'll become a part of me. So you won't be a damn nuisance. Bayakuya, sensing the murderous essence of his brother, would try to flee, but it was impossible for him, as he would be dragged to the ground by such incredible power. You're a fucking bastard! We're family! And you're planning to end me! I never thought you'd be this kind of scum. You don't have to be surprised. Who do you think ended our sister's life? I, unlike you, am not able to cultivate my power, but I am able to absorb it. You worm! You're giving me to understand that your miserable bastard absorbed our dear sister! Ha ha ha! That's right. I cannot deny that his energy was so great that I had to be on rest for three months. Because if I didn't, I could explode. Bayakuya would try to pounce against his brother, but it was impossible for him. The great pressure, he would crush him as if he were a simple ant. Don't worry, I'll finish the job so you weren't able to do. Because otherwise, our father will finish us. Kimura would begin to absorb all the vital energy and the power of his brother. However, Bayakuya would try to cause an explosion of all his power. But this was impossible for him since he had been paralyzed by his brother's murderous intention. It's time to end your life, you scum. Kimura, stealing every drop of his energy, would throw him a great power, with which he was able to reduce him to simple atoms. In the kingdom as a whole, those present were surprised to realize how Kimuro had ended his brother's life. Those bastards are heartless. We have enough power to finish these bastards, because if we don't, they'll finish us. That's right, I doubt Meguno keep his word, because if they're able to end his family's life, we, who are nothing to them, will be their slaves or energy food. Father, I totally trust Kakarot, I know that he will have the necessary power to defeat these new villains. In the entire realm of the All, an incredible power would be perceived all over the place. While various catastrophes and anomalies were forming around everything, that's right, Kakarot had been completely healed. But not being used to Yamoshi's power, his body was coupling all that new power to his internal sea of energy, with which he made all the 12 universes tremble. Even Kimuro and Megun felt such incredible power. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.